do you see when you see weeds in the driveway? Let me show you what I see. If you look down a weedy driveway, I actually see an apothecary or a medicine cabinet. Take dandelion, for instance. It's edible, highly nutritious, and has a slew of medicinal properties. It's a great detox herb. Every single part of the plant is edible and usable. So in all in all, that's probably one of the best additions to your yard. Right next to that, we have plantain. This is broadleaf plantain. If you remember the term plantain for pain, this is a pain relieving herb. It's edible. It can be eaten like spinach or raw in a, in a salad. Highly nutritious, extremely good for your body. It's good for your digestion. It can help heal internal wounds. And of course, it's a pain reliever. Just off the driveway, this is called sow thistle. This will have giant leaves or flowers just like a dandelion. And those thorns, when the, when the plant is this small, those thorns aren't really very thorny. This plant is also super nutritious. It's a detox herb, just like dandelion, and it shares many of the same properties. A little bit of wild violet. Wild violet is a medicinal plant. It's good for coughs, it's good for pain. It can be used internally or externally, made into a tea or a capsule. This plant can also help break a fever. It's been used for thousands of years medicinally, and it's actually a really good plant to have. Wild violet, we have another purple flower. There is Creeping Charlie. Creeping Charlie, also called ground ivy, is actually a member of the mint family. It is safe enough for young children and infants, strong enough for a full-grown man. It's really good for your digestion. It can be used for a wound healer. It can also help break a fever, and it's also highly nutritious. Close to our dandelion, we have chicory. Chicory is a great plant, very closely related to dandelion, though it has a purple flower and not a yellow one. Every part of this plant is also edible, and the root contains a compound called inulin, which your body absorbs just like insulin. Chicory also has the unique ability to be able to break the barrier in your brain that tells your brain you want more when people have addictions. They've actually used it for, for, for some pretty strong addiction-related illnesses. Further into the driveway, we have a plant that's called wintercress. Wintercress is popping up all over. It's one of the first edible plants that's available in the spring. The plant has a lot of medicinal properties. This is also a very good lung herb. It can help with pneumonia. It's antimicrobial. It's nutritious. And you can use it in, any, in many different ways. You can eat it raw, you can put it into a capsule, turn it into an extract, whatever works for you. Some burdock that's back in the back of the driveway. This plant is also highly nutritious. The leaves are very nutritious and edible. The root is very healing. It's anti-inflammatory. It's actually a main ingredient for a compound called Eziac, which is an anti-cancer compound. Really healthy. Next to that, we have what's called longleaf plantain, narrow leaf plantain. It is exactly like the other plantain I showed you, plantain for pain. It can be eaten the same way. It has all the same nutrients. All in all, this is a pretty good plant too. And then we have yellow dock or curly dock. It depends on what you want to call it. If the, the leaves are more curly, it's curly dock. But a dock is a dock. Here a dock, there a dock, everywhere a dock, dock. Yellow dock root has inulin in it, just like dandelion and chicory. It can be absorbed in your body just like insulin. It's anti-inflammatory. They're highly nutritious. You could cook the roots just like you would your carrots but not least, or what's going to be black-eyed Susans. These plants get very invasive at times. They are the large yellow and black flowers. Um, they are closely related to echinacea. They have the ability to increase your T-cell production. They are an immunomodulator. Every, plant of this, every part of this plant is also edible and highly nutritious. So that's what I see when I walk down the driveway. Maybe later, we'll take a walk in the yard and I'll show you the apothecary that's in the yard. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have a good day.